The arresting beauty of Pakistan's Swat Valley, a pristine setting for a brutal attack. It's six months since the Taliban shot Malala Yousafzai in the head, but the teenager has made a remarkable recovery in the UK. Now she's bringing fresh hope to her native SWAT. Today I'm going to announce the happiest moment of my life. In SWAT Valley, in my motherland, we are going to educate 40 girls and let us turn the education of 40 girls into 40 million girls. Back in SWAT, the two friends injured with her still live in fear and under guard. A rickshaw brings Shazia home from school. She rushes inside. The 14-year-old, who loves science, was hit by two bullets. But she and her wounded schoolmate were soon back at their desks. If we hadn't gone back, she says, how could we send a message to the world? We want to tell everyone not to give up their education, whatever happens. Well, Shazia is safely inside now, doing her homework. She's a good student who studies hard, and she's making plans for the future. Her dream is to be a doctor in the army, but she could still be at risk. The guards here are a reminder of how dangerous it can be to want an education in Pakistan. We were escorted to meet Kainat, the other victim of the attack. The 16-year-old also hopes to study medicine, but says she would be safer overseas. If I was abroad, like Malala, she says, I could learn without fear or threats. My neighbours say they're in danger because of me. They want me to move. So you would like to go to England, like Malala? Yeah. Kainat plays indoors with her younger sister. She rarely ventures out and finds it hard to sleep. Her dreams still haunted by the attack. Orla Guerin, BBC News, in the Swat Valley.